For today's money makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this purple glittery smoky eye. If you're new to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy this type of content, make sure that you are subscribed. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you. And let's get started. So the first thing that we like to do is to make sure our eyelids are primed. So I use an eyeshadow primer to create a blank canvas, but also give us something to hold on to. So I've already applied that and I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And the palette that we're using is by Wet n Wild. This is the Nude Awakening palette, which is one of my favorites by Wet n Wild. I'm going to start off with a blending brush. This is a very important brush. You need a good blending brush. This is one of my favorites. So I'm going to start with the top transition shade, which is a matte tone. Transition shades are typically kind of dull in color, but they create sort of a fade for us. So we want to apply this from the outer corner, working our way in, in the crease area. Now, if you start with your hand quite low, this will just help with your blending process. And then you can slowly bring your hand a little higher as you blend upwards. Just make sure you always leave a small gap under the brows. It should fade up to this point and then kind of disappear. If you work over and back in this general area, you'll end up depositing pigment in this area. And this is where we want it to be deposited in order to create that nice gentle fade and some shaping. Now I'm going to take a slightly smaller blending brush. You can use a flat brush for this, but I do like using a blending brush. And I'm going to take this beautiful sort of purpley deep tone, kind of plummy. I'm going to apply this on the outer corner of my eye and then blend across the lid. I want to keep the majority of the color on this outer edge and then it should slowly fade into nothing as it gets to the inner corner, making sure not to blend up too high though. Keep this on the lid. So every time I pick up a bit of shadow, I start in the outer corner and then blend across. You also want to make sure you're keeping in that imaginary line from the edge of your nose, eye and brow to create that nice lifted appearance. And I'm going to take a flat brush or you can use your fingertips and I'm going to apply the light shimmery pinky shade. And this is going to be applied from the inner corner, blending over across. So we're kind of working the opposite direction than we did with the plum shade, working from the inner corner and blending to the center. With the meeting area where the two shades meet, you want to very softly tap and very lightly blend the two shades together. You may need to apply a little bit more of one or a little bit more of the other. Depends on how your actual blending technique is, but you basically want to make sure they fade into each other. Now for the fun bit, glitter. So I'm going to be taking the Blank Canvas Cosmetics White Diamond Glitter. This is a beautiful shade. They have a bunch of new glitters out. You have to check them out. They're beautiful. And I'm going to start on the inner corner and then blend across. Now you can use a little applicator or you can use your brush or your fingertips to apply it. If you are using the applicator, because we have a darker pigment on the lid, make sure you're wiping the applicator before you put it back in. So I'm keeping the glitter on the lower part of the lid. So avoiding this area here, making sure to keep that area kind of dark and matte. And I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush, one of my favorites. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of brow highlight using the satin shade in the palette. For underneath the eye, I'm going to take shade number eight again, which is a plummy tone and just apply this underneath the lashes. Now makeup chairs will know that we like to squash down a brush and actually apply anything underneath our eye with a squash down brush. However, I thought I'd actually use a brush that's designed for this. So we're using the E23, which is a pencil brush, but you can squash down your brushes if you want to. And then went ahead and applied some lashes and a little bit more glitter, stopping at the halfway point on the lower lid. And then there you go. That is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check out some more of the glitter looks that I've already done. I will link them in the description box. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.